I was in the Marine Corps. I served from uh, 1999 through 2007. I did a total of five deployments. Two of them are what we would consider Westpac, Western Pacific. When the USS Cole was bombed, my unit was, we were the uh, first responders on the scene. Three further combat deployments in Iraq. It was rough. I was there for the initial ground invasion all the way through to Baghdad. You see some of the worst of humanity and some of the best. Some of the stuff that you go through, especially in combat, is stuff that is so far removed from normal human experience that it, it can be difficult. I came out of my experience with, among other things, a very severe case of post-traumatic stress disorder. And so it was, it was a very dark time for me. I had a, kind of my first exposure with therapy, just it didn't go very well. As a Marine, you don't lie, lay down, you don't say, oh, you know, life's happening and there's nothing I can do about it. You know, you improvise, you adapt, you overcome. I'm looking at becoming a licensed clinical social worker, doing mental health, specifically with military veterans and their families. It's very hard to go from a military culture to a campus life. And sometimes vets get lost in the transition. Just seeing the community, seeing veterans who are not only involved in the campus, but involved with each other. And you know, there's a very strong community that's there. It just came full circle. I was like, hey, this is something that I could do and I could make a very big difference. I mean, 22 veterans a day commit suicide. And a big part of that is that they're not being reached by people who can not only understand them, but can turn around and help. I think I can do that. <laughs>